following God. Right, Dave. Reading yeah. the God's word, the word and obeying its teaching will bring James 1 is where I want to go to next. James chapter 1. We can gain of our app. Signing the Bible has a lot of uh, great rewards for us. It gets to know our Creator. It gets to know the sin nature that we were born in. And it, it shows us on the way to heaven. But by ignoring God's word and not reading it, it's just leading us onto a slippery path to hell. Again, when people say, I know God, I know I, I know God, so does the devil. Do you want to be in the same comparison with the demons? Or do you want to be the child of light? Now, it's not knowing God's word inside and out that gets us to heaven. do and don't, or do you want to be under the grace of God and accept the blood of Jesus Christ, whose sacrifice was the perfect sacrifice, whose sacrifice on that cross was the perfect sacrifice. That blood spilt over. Jesus, buried in a tomb for three days, rose to victory. Do we know how, do you know, if when somebody asked me, how did you believe in the resurrection? And I said, yeah, and you know, you know, they always want to have proof of why the, how the resurrection could be. Well, the fact of it is, the proof is in a born-again Christian. Because Jesus said to the disciples, it is good for me to leave. When I do, I'm going to send you a helper. And the helper is the Holy Spirit. God the Holy Spirit. Remember, it's God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. One God. One God in a triune. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Jesus' resurrection gives proof to the life change. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 says, All those in Christ are a new creation. All the old is past and all the new is come. Just over eight years ago, if I would listen to somebody like you're listening to today, I would have said, what a pile of garbage. None of that could be possible. Although I was deep into alcoholism, and the drugs, I still believe that there was no God. Did I take time to seek him out? No. You know what made me believe that there was no God? My own mind. My own mind closed to truth. My own mind not open up to hearing ministers and pastors and preachers talk about the truth. My own mind and my reluctance to pick up God's word. I was on my way to hell because I didn't believe in God. I was on my way to hell because I didn't receive the free gift that he's given. The gift of the Holy Spirit to reside inside of us and to change us forever. When I was out in the park today, I was talking about uh, the fact that uh, there are a lot of people that say that they believe in God. They say they believe in Jesus Christ. But you know who else believes in him? That's right. Don't ever forget that. In fact, I can't remember the exact uh, uh, part in the Bible, but I know that it states, Jesus I know, Paul I know. And who are you? You know who's talking right there? Acts 19. What's that? Acts 19. Do you know, do you know who's talking there? The devil. And then at another spot where he says, what is it that you want with the Son of the Most High? You know who's recognizing him? The devil. the devil. So when somebody says to you that they believe in Jesus, don't forget, so does the devil. How do we know if somebody's been born again? Fruits. Life, life's change. Life's change. You can see it by the life change 